Do you ever have difficulty tacking your catamaran? Well, let's clear up the fundamentals right now. Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. So we're out on the Hobie 16 and we're just gonna look at some tacking. Uh, I'm single-handed, the wind's fairly light, probably about 10 knots and uh, we're just going to use some good technique to demonstrate the fundamentals of tacking the catamaran. After we've done the 16, we'll then jump on a 15 and a Pacific. Okay, so first we're just going to set the boat up on the upwind course. So in this mode, I'm getting quite far forwards. I'm up by the shroud, got the main sheet in quite tight. So, first thing we're going to do is just have a quick tidy up. Going to change the legs round, which is going to automatically present us into the middle of the boat to make it easier to get across. I've got the main sheet in tight, that's as tight as it will go. And then I'm going to push the boom across, push the rudders across, sorry, release the main sheet when the jib backs, coming round and then we'll get going and at this stage we'll pull the jib across so the key point there is definitely what we're doing with the main sheet and then bring the main sheet back in okay so we'll go for it again tidying up tucking the back leg under the front leg sheet in the main pushing the rudders away when the jib backs main sheet off and we'll move across the boat we'll pick up the main sheet when we're in the middle look forwards as soon as we can and then coming across the new side sorting the jib out very good another key point there is that we're sailing as close to the wind as possible before going into the tack so we're doing that by having the jib reasonably tight and sailing to the telltales on the jib all right so one more sorting out our ropes making it a bit tidy first tucking the back leg pushing the rudders away watching the jib jib backs main sheet off under the boom stick comes round picking up the main sheet in the middle and then swapping the jib over afterwards with swapping the jib over don't ever try to force it across with the sheets always let it blow across if you can if you force it across the jib battens are more likely to get stuck okay so there we go okay so here we are we're on a hobie 15 now we've got the boat going upwind we're watching the telltales on the jib to make sure our course is good and then exactly the same as how we were doing it on the 16 we're going to tidy up the ropes first check the area that we're going to tack into we'll now sheet in the main tight And then we'll push the rudders away, release the main when the jib backs, move across the boat immediately after, sit down on the new side, look forwards, and then we can swap the jib over at that time. Of course, if you have a crew, that'll make that part of the maneuver slightly more efficient. So if when we sheet in tight, if we start to lift the hull, if we become overpowered, then we can turn a little bit more into the wind just to take that power off a bit, but also that will reduce our tacking angle. So there we are, we're definitely sailing close to the wind. Tidied up the ropes at the back and the front, tucking with the back leg, pushing the rudders away, watching the jib, 
when the jib backs we'll release the main sheet move across the boat looking forwards as soon as we can and then we can change the jib over to the new side afterwards so one more time we've checked where we're going to tack into good job we did we wouldn't want to end up hitting that boy we're on a good course the jib telltales are happy with the jib in tight in fact the wind's just changing a little bit there so having to turn down a little bit there is a bit more wind so with the main sheet in tight we might start lifting a hull a little bit here yeah so what we can do is bring the boat a little bit closer to the wind that's going to reduce our tacking angle so when we're ready we'll check again where we're tacking to pushing the rudders across soon to jib backs letting the main sheet off and then looking forwards as soon as we can and then swapping the jib over there we are when it's a bit windier the boat will sail through the tack a little bit quicker so you might have to be a bit quicker to straighten up okay so here we are we're now on the Hobie Pacific which is very similar to the Hobie Tiger except it doesn't have any dagger boards so it does make it much more user friendly if you don't need that dagger board performance okay so we're just going to go through the tack exactly the same as before checking the area that we're going to turn into a few wind surfers about pulling the main sheet in tight wind shifting a little bit changing our legs around and then because the wind's a bit stronger i'm uncleating the main sheet and holding it before the tack which is just going to make it a lot easier to undo when we're head to wind so i'll just bring the boat up towards the wind to reduce our tacking angle and then we'll initiate the tack here i'm watching the jib when the jib backs letting the main sheet off just giving it a little pull to help it run out a little bit there and then across the boat looking forwards as soon as possible and then once we're on a good course again just bringing the jib across there we are okay so we'll just get going and then we'll go for another one so we're checking the area that we're going to turn into bringing the main sheet in tight taking it out of the cleat so we're ready to undo it and then pushing the stick across watching the jib as soon as it backs then we'll let the main sheet off we'll go to the middle of the boat get the stick round and then look forwards as soon as possible so that we know where we're going because that is of course quite important When we're out sailing, we can't sail straight into the wind like this, this arrow representing the wind. Instead, we have to sail at 45 degrees on either side of the wind. The tack is the maneuver that turns us from one side to the other side. We're just using a Hobie 16 here, but this is exactly the same technique for all types of catamaran, big or small. So, the first thing before we can look at tacking is our course. And for our course, what we're going to do is look at the telltales on the jib with the jib sheeted in tight. And we're looking for those telltales flying straight back or as the wind gets stronger with the inside telltale flying up a little bit. What that's going to do is reduce our tacking angle. Once we've established that we're on a good course and we're sailing as close to the wind as possible, the next thing we want to do is just check the area that we're going to tack into to make sure that we're not going to tack into an obstacle or another boat or something else on the water. And then 
The next and most important thing with tacking a catamaran is what you do with the main sheet. So in preparation to tack the boat, we're gonna bring the main sheet in tight. So on a 16, that will mean as hard as you can pull it. In fact, on any type of catamaran, that means pull the main sheet in physically as hard as you can. And then when you're ready to go, we can uncleat the main sheet and hold it. So we're not letting it out at that stage. And then we'll turn the boat up into the wind. We'll watch the jib. And then when the boat is head to wind, which will be indicated by the wind coming in the other side of the jib, that's time for action. And that means we're gonna let the main sheet off, reducing the pressure. And we're gonna move under the boom over to the new side. And then we're gonna sit down and look forwards as soon as we can. So the reason why the main sheet is the key factor in the tack here is because what the main sheet is doing is bringing the boat up into the wind. So as well as the driving the boat forwards, the main sheet puts a lot of pressure be behind the pivot point on the boat. The pivot point would be where the dagger boards are or just the central part on the hull on the Hobie 16. Pulling in the main sheet puts pressure behind the pivot point, which pushes the boat up into the wind. So by pulling the main sheet in tighter, it's gonna put more pressure behind the pivot point, making the boat turn into the wind quicker. And then the reason why we're letting the main sheet off is to get away from the wind once we're pointing into the wind. We want to reduce that pressure which we'll do by letting off the main sheet. And that's how the boat is gonna bear away from the wind on the other side. So if you're thinking, but if I pull the main sheet in really tight, surely I'm gonna be coming quite overpowered and might even capsize. Well, what you can do if the wind is getting stronger is as you bring the main sheet in tighter, you can head up more towards the wind which will take the power away and what that will actually do is give you a smaller angle that you have to turn your boat through to tack. That's a win-win in the stronger winds. So to go through the tack again we make sure we're sailing as close to the wind as possible. We check the area that we're going to turn into. If we're sailing with two people that's the time to communicate say are you ready to tack? Crew says ready. We'll then sheet the main in as tight as it will physically go. And then at that point, uncleat the main and hold it. Push the tiller away, watch the jib. When the jib backs, release the main sheet under the boom. And then pick up the main sheet halfway through and then look forwards and start sailing. The jib, we can pull across a few seconds after it backs. So it's had a chance to pull the front of the boat off the wind a little bit. How you get the tiller extension round the back, don't throw it in the water, because all that means is you have to pick it up out of the water again. The best thing to do is to grab the tiller extension down near the base and then that makes it very easy just to pass it around the back. And then moving yourself across the boat, the best thing to do is to tuck your back leg under your front leg and that will automatically present you onto your knees facing the back of the boat. So as you push up, that automatically puts you onto your knees facing the back of the boat. So moving across will be something like that. Another tip, you can push up in the very light winds, you can push up with your back as you go under the boom just to help the main sheet run out. If you find that your tack has failed, then what you can do is what we call the three point turn where you go up into the wind and if your tack fails at that point, just put the rudders the other way because you're going backwards 
and then sheet out the main try to spot when you start going forwards again straighten up with the rudders and off you go if for some reason such as before the start of a race or you just want to turn the boat round without having to get it going first you can use the three point turn from standing to get your boat going through the wind so just sheet the main in that will pull you up into the wind then sheet the main out reverse the rudders and then the same as before just spot when you start going forward straighten the rudders and off you go so let's take it out on the water okay so now we'll take a look at this maneuver that i like to call the static three point turn this is if you want to put the boat on the other tack but without getting it moving so we're going to do this largely by using the main sheet so making sure the traveler's in the middle bringing the main sheet in tight the boat will automatically steer up into the wind and we're going to hold it there until it stops and then when it stops we'll just let the main sheet out and then in this instance the jib has actually pulled us off the wind but if if there was more wind then we might actually have to reverse the rudders when we head to wind as well so thanks for watching i hope this has cleared up some of your tacking difficulties uh on a it's the same technique the fundamentals are the same for every single type of catamaran um thanks to everyone who's been um thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel if you haven't thanks to everyone for supporting the channel through one of the various different means of doing that check out in the description below for different ways you can help support the channel if you don't know how to find the description below then there's just a small arrow underneath the video and you'll find it there if you're using a telephone or some sort of ipad like device but thanks very much uh, please like the video and subscribe if you subscribe you'll see more great catamaran sailing tutorials and videos as soon as they come out